hours of study and using the subject guide. The period of study for a course of this nature is about 8 months. You should spend at least 7 hours on this course each week. You are about to begin a journey of a learning and development with this subject guide to direct and steer you. This subject guide has been designed to help you to work through this topic in a systematic and truth manner. It is vital to remember that what you are reading here is not the course in itself, but a guide through the course which also consists of the reading and your own critical thinking. It is essential that studying this guide is done on conjunction with the reading system outlined above. It is also essential that you develop your own set of notes as you work through to the subject and that you engage with the material in a critical way. Your rule and the design of the subject guide are explained further in this section. However, it is important for you to have familiarized yourself with your academic and study skills handbook strategies for success before you embark on the first chapter. Your rule academic development, you have an active role to play as you work through this course. It is not sufficient to view each topic in isolate way and only to be able to describe what you read about. It is essential that you make a conscious effort to identify links, make comparison, and consider the implication of the di different issues as you progress through to the course. This will make the issues come to life. Thinking critically is an essential part of this course and although nobody is born with this skill, it is one that you everyone can develop and improve. Remember that there is rarely one correct answer or approach to a question. It is likely that you will be presented with a variety of theories, models of definition, all trying to explain similar phenomena. Your role is first to grasp what each source is saying but then to question evaluate and compare it to alternative explanation thinking critically is also not just about developing criticism but it is process of evaluation where both the positive and negative aspect of a theory study or model are considered you can begin to develop this skill as soon as you start the first chapter as you read as yourself what you think how it relates to what you already know, you experience, and what others claim. Actually, building into your notes, your own reflection, and your own responses can be a useful method of developing this skill and will also be valuable when you come to revise. It can be helpful to make a clear separation between your own thoughts and the notes you take on the main points of the reading perhaps by highlighting them with a different color dividing up the page or boxing them off you should note that there is further guidance on thinking critically in strategies for success chapter structure every chapter includes a number of consistent future designed to assist you in your own progress through the module each chapter begins by setting out what it aims to achieve so that it is clear what you should learn this is followed by the learning outcome so that you know what knowledge you should develop the essential reading is the set out suggestion for the reading will also begin at this point there is a chapter review section at the end of each chapter including the key points that have been made in the chapter a range of sample examination question to help test what you have learned suggests as to how one of the examination question could be answered. You should study this review section to be certain that you have grasped everything you are supposed to have learned from the chapter and that you are at the right level to move on to the next chapter. Interactive format in addition to this key future of every chapter exercises have been provided throughout the guide to help you engage and interact with the material you're studying although these are not assessed the more involved you get the deeper and the understanding you will develop different activities have been designed each with the specific purpose as follow questions to test your understanding 
of what you have read. Readings to direct you to a relevant section of the essential reading and instruct you when to do your reading as well as sometimes offering questions to ensure that you understand the text. Case study to encourage you at specific points to learn about the case of particular business or to think about the ones you know. There are case studies in both the subjects guide and the key text. It is strongly recommended that you complete these activities as you work through the course. The work you do for some activities will be developed further at later points in the course. Take an active role from the beginning and develop this active learning throughout. This will give you confidence in your knowledge, ability, and opinions. The structure of this course, it is important to understand how your course is structured so that it is easier for you to navigate around the topics in this guide. The syllabus consists of four section design to introduce to the main theories debates and issues relating to the study of business and management each section deals with several major topic and an indication is given below of the elements that each will include however this course deals with a dynamic topic so it is important to recognize the inter relationship between these themes. Section 1. The development of business and management concept definition and origins understanding the business organization a multidisciplinary approach. Section 2. Management and decision making the management rule theoretical approaches to strategic decision making and organizational chains also managing the main functional areas section 3 business and environment key internal elements of the firm key external elements of the business environment the diverse and dynamic nature of the business context section 4 contemporary issues in business and management business develop and information technology the social responsibilities of business organization examination advice important the information and advice given here are based on the examination structure used at the time this guide was written please note that the subject guides may be used for several years because of this we strongly advise you to always check both the current regulation for relevant information about the examination and the VLE where you should be advised of any forthcoming changes. You should also carefully check the rubric instructions on the paper you actually sit and follow those instructions. Remember, it is important to check the VLE for up-to-date information and examination assessment arrangement for this course. Where available past examination paper and examiners commentaries for the course which give advice on how each question might best the answer. The assessment for this course is via examination and the guide aims to offer assistance in your preparation for this. It is essential that you make use of your academic and study skill handbook strategies for success which give vital information about the examination process and guidance on preparing for all your examination. It will really help you to study this now before you given as well as at the time of the examination. In addition, guidance for the examination for the 107 Introduction to Business and the Management course has been built into this subject guide. Each chapter ends by offering for sample examination question and suggestion of how at least one of these could be approached. At the end of the guide in Appendix 1, you will also find a sample examination paper. Have a look at this now to understand what you will need to do and what your examination paper will look like. It is important to remember that the examination is the end method of assessment rather than the focus of the course 
concentrating on engaging with the issues, building up your knowledge and developing an academic approach will not only be more satisfying but will also ensure that you are fully introduced to the subject of business and management.